Hey guys, I am Gautam from IIT Karakpur and welcome to GKMix. In this video, I am going to talk about the JAM 2019 question papers. Okay, so uh, you know that uh, in uh, on February 10, JAM 2019 uh, was held and uh, the question papers I have got from uh, both of them. So many many thanks to both of them for providing me JAM 2019 question papers. Okay, so I will be solving in this video uh, a lot of questions uh, that I have so the first question was like that i want to talk about that there was a question like fx equals to x e to the power minus x square there is a function like this and you have to find the maximum value of x maximum value of x so you know that the how to calculate the maximum value so to calculate maximum value user need to uh, differentiate this one that is you have to calculate the apex and, and which will be turned out like this if we do the differentiation then we will get like this and finally what we get we will get like this sorry here there will be on x and here plus one so the condition is to have the maximum value of x the, the condition is f of f dash x that is differentiation of fx need to be zero okay so put this value is equals to zero okay so from this you just you can easily calculate that this should not be zero so just put minus 2x square plus 1 equals to zero then here x will be uh, 1 by root okay so this will be the correct answer okay so this uh, i have already told you the uh, in my uh, important topics in uh, jam video that maximum minimum this is this topic is very very important and also this topic is easy it's okay so this type of questions you can face you actually you will face in jam 2020 or further also okay so now let's talk about another question from jam 2019 that says that let's uh, the question was like the num number of bending mode of vibration okay so bending mode of vibration and the corresponding molecules are like that okay so there are three molecules that is h2o then ch2 then so2 so first this is non-linear because this is uh, v-shaped molecule water then ch2 this is linear this is SO2 that is of course non-linear this is uh, a trigonal planar structure okay so non-linear that is the formula to calculate the, the so so they asked to uh, determine the number of bending bending mode of vibration so bending the formula required formula is for linear 2n minus 4 and for non-linear 2n minus 5 where n is the total number of uh, atoms present in that particular molecule so here is two so is three molecules and system is non-linear so apply this formula so two cross total three molecules three minus five that is one here also if we apply linear that is linear two three minus four that is also uh, two and here also non-linear one so the final answer will be one two and one okay so this, this type of easy questions uh, you are facing in uh, jam examination okay so that's i am uh, i want to show you that the questions are not that much tough okay so now let's come to another question that is that is from uh, basic very basic aromaticity okay so the question was like that so okay. that this kind of system cl and there was a seat okay so here the seat will take this one and here the system will be like this okay so this system is aromatic overall because there is two pi electron there is one pi one there is two pi electron system and it satisfies the rule that is 4n plus 2 pi electron rule now that is for aromaticity okay so 4n plus 2 here n equals to put n 0 then 2 pi electron that is 2 pi electron that is 1 pi 1 is present so this is this follows everything there is this is planar of course this is uh, continuous conjugation is possible every other conditions are fulfilled so this is aromatic so coming to next that is uh, another 
one so like this this is beer so when this reacts with uh, agv4 then it will not uh, prove uh, get it will not give the product like that so what is what it give so there was a plus right here okay so because br minus here ag plus ag ag bf4 minus present so here ag plus the br minus so br minus will take the bonding electron and go to uh, near the ag plus okay so that is why here one plus so two pi two pi four pi electron that is not satisfying because it satisfies the four n pi electron rule okay that means it is anti aromatic character it is showing so next is like that so here one pH another pH okay and here pH so this is NH that is source of H minus it reacts like this then it comes back and finally there is a charge negative charge over here so here one pH another pH and negative charge so 2 pi 2 pi 4 pi electron system that is not aromatic okay because it's it's also anti aromatic this is 4 pi electron system okay so now the last example like this that is okay so here na that is that has one uh, radical so here you can think the system like this it takes but it will give the both one this kind of system uh, question you have already solved sodium liquid ammonia like system okay so here when it donates the electron like this so it will give this kind of system and that is 2 pi 4 pi 6 pi 6 pi electron that is if you put n equals to 1 then 4 plus 2 6 pi electron system so this is also aromatic so this one and this one are aromatic okay so now coming to another question that is the question was that like this kind of system and another system like this and here n then OS okay so this is Beckman rearrangement, rearrangement general so a is plus so common reaction mechanism is possible this is this kind of system okay so this will take the H plus and then this kind of product it will form okay okay so this is 7 number this is 6 number because this is this is this system is more uh, electron uh, rich okay that is why this kind of shifting occurs not this way okay so that is why this will be the final product by the Beckman rearrangement I am not showing the mechanism because you know about the Beckman rearrangement okay so next problem will be Faberski reaction one question from Faberski reaction okay so that was like this sorry here one Cl here double bond O keto system so when this reacts with sodium uh, NaOH and TOH like system like reagent then what we get we get the five member type system okay, so I am showing you so when it reacts with NaOH that is the source of Na plus OH minus so first it reacts this alpha hydrogen of this keto group then one negative charge that will attack this and CL leaves the system so what we get sorry this will not be like that this will be like this and here this one now when another OET minus comes and attacks right here this broke then comes back then this kind of system and here also ETO is present this is source of H plus so it will be uh, protonated again ok so then we will get system like this ok so this is simple normal Faberski reaction it's very easy question and then one confusion confusion like question because answer may be 3 or 4 and the question was the uh, my vibrational mode of motion of CO2 molecule so CO2 this is linear system so the total number of vibration mode will be 3n minus linear as linear so 3n minus 5 so if you put 3 over here because uh, it, this is a 1 2 3 3 atoms atomic system so 9 minus 5 that will give 4 
but here two states are degenerate so it should be three but my opinion will be that answer should be four because they just want to know uh, the number of vibrational mode of motion okay so you should apply this formula only and you can get the answer four okay so my suggestion will be answer four but i am not sure about this one but so basically it should be four okay so whatever you will get the answer key and then you can check this one okay so the next question coming as the ratio of rms velocity of oxygen to hydrogen molecule so rms velocity you know the formula that the mu uh, b rms which is equals to root over of 3 rt by m so if just r is constant temperature is also constant as nothing is said about temperature so you just uh, here m will vary okay for oxygen and for nitrogen or oh, sorry for hydrogen so now if we if we put the value of m so p oxygen will be formula like this root over of 3 rt by m for 16 okay because uh, sorry not 16 it should be 32 because molar mass is 32 okay and for hydrogen this should be 3 rt by 2 okay so now what we get this 2 will be like this root over of 2, 2 by 32 and finally root over of 1 by 16 okay and that will give 1 by 4 that is 1 is to 4 okay of course uh, velocity rms velocity of o2 by rms velocity of hydrogen so that will give the answer 1 is to 4 or 1 by 4 okay this question is also easy so you are uh, seeing that all the questions in jam are quite easy as i have said in my previous video before you uh, appeared in the jam examination okay because i have my opinion is uh, jam is the exam is the uh, easiest exam uh, easiest msc entrance examination okay you want to be but it's 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 right so what about let's do another problem okay the total number of translational degrees of freedom or of hbr so you know that translational degrees of freedom is always three for any kind of molecules maybe it's diatomic triatomic tetraatomic or polyatomic or monoatomic even for hydrogen it's a uh, three because a, uh, a molecule can go to x axis towards the y axis and towards the z axis okay so it can go anywhere okay as uh, the, that is why the uh, translational motion that means the uh, shifts of position shifting of position of that molecule so it, one molecule can shift from here to here here to here or here to here okay so from any direction that is why it is always three for monatomic diatomic dynamic polyatomic every kind of molecules so the number of translational modes for hbr will be three okay so this is also easy question so now let's come into another question that is about the correct order of water solubility of uh, some kind of systems okay so there are systems like CH2CO3, RP2, CO3, then sorry, it would be Na2CO3 and finally Li2CO3. Okay, so this system, these four systems uh, are given and asked to uh, determine the correct order. Of water solubility so the explanation will be like this that lithium sodium rubidium cesium so size lithium then sodium then rubidium then cesium okay so the order will be like that so what should be the reason the reason is quite simple this is the polar polarize, uh, polarizing power of lithium is higher than sodium then rubidium then cesium so you may think that the uh, this is hard this is quite uh, soft kind of uh, cation okay so that is why you may think that the hydration enthalpy will be uh, higher for lithium than sodium than rubidium than cesium where this will be the uh, same order and that is why the solubility of lithium will be higher and cesium will be lower but experimentally the reverse the order is reverse the water solubility order is reverse this is experimental fact okay so it's a uh, exceptional system and that's why you are uh, facing this question in IIT exam okay so don't think that every question will be easy li like those uh, I have discussed in the previous section previous uh, one okay so one one or two questions or maybe five or ten questions you can, of course uh, they will provide you some kind of tricky questions tricky type questions okay or you have to remember those this one because it's 
uh, it's almost IIT, right? Or so this kind of questions you may face in every year. Okay, so that's why I'm telling you that questions are not the top one, two, or five, or maximum ten questions. Maybe like that some kind of different, but fifty uh, out of sixty questions, fifty questions are very very easy. Okay, you can see uh, after getting the full question papers, you can easily determine that which questions are easy, which are not. Okay, otherwise the fact is uh, normal that IIT exam I have seen my opinion is the easiest exam and even some of you whoever uh, appeared this year for IIT exam uh, just tell me what what was your experience about the exam and how much marks you will get uh, you should expect you will expect uh, from from this year and let me know in the comment box okay so whatever that's all about this some simple questions and uh, whenever I will get the, uh, another, I will get another set of questions. I will definitely try to make a video on this. Okay, so that you can uh, get all uh, whole idea of this kind of uh, questions. Okay, so thank you. Thanks for watching.